What's happening, 502 crew? Welcome back to the channel. Ty, Ryan, Nick, back as always with another reaction. But first, if you want to join the 502 crew, we need you to like, we need you to comment, and we need you to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the latest. All right, guys, we are back to Tool. Why are we back already? Oh, because the Tool army is asking for it, baby. <laughs> and look, I knew that Tool had a very dedicated, loyal, passionate fan base. But Ryan, I had no idea about the Tool army. It's massive. They are feasting for blood. But you guys showed up, and, and that's why out. we're here again. There's a billion comments. You gave a million suggestions. Yeah. Just to give you guys a reminder, anytime we do a tool, I have heard the song. They have never. So it's really me, you know, picking the song. Yeah, I mean, some guy just coming and literally the guy in the middle is the, you know, he's me or whatever, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna do schism. He's our guy in this tool. All right. We only have you guys. That's it. Me and Ryan are just out here. Just living the toolless life. Floating in space. We don't have any tools. We ain't on Earth. We're just floating in space. Yeah, exactly. You gotta reel us in, baby. Yeah, that was a little weird. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, we're gonna do Schism. <laughs> Again, one of their more popular songs. Yeah, you gotta build me up. Because, like, if you just play their best song, like, yeah. then I'm just gonna have high expectations. And then, like, some of the other songs, I'm just gonna be like, I mean, this song is still the best song. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're trying to uh, give a kid vegetables. Oh, yeah. You don't start them out with broccoli. No, yeah. You start them out with corn, green beans. Yes. You slowly work your way That's right. to broccoli. That's right. <laughs> the first time we did them, Ryan, we did the pot. Fire. Yeah. Which we all loved. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you guys found out the Tool experience. I mean, they really do oh, yeah. have their own Just stuff. I see why the Tool army is huge. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> huge. A little background on schism. Uh, I didn't really know what this word meant for a long time. I was actually going to ask you that. Uh, but apparently the definition of schism is a split or division between strongly opposed sections or parties caused by differences in opinion oh, or belief. That is not good. So in a sentence I would be like, this is a big uh, schism, schism, you yeah. guys. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just, yeah, uh, like if I <laughs> say this and you say that and I don't like that... And you like this? Hey, the schism, schism is like this big between these people. Exactly. You hear me? This big. Yeah. I'm the schism between you guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but you're not a problem, though. Uh, That's like good over here and evil over there. You're an evil schism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not that it matters, because to me, the Grammys are just kind of blah. They're a shame. They proved it time and time again. But this song did win the Grammy for Best Metal Performance. Wait a minute, you can't just deny the Grammys and then just say they win a Grammy. Yeah. That's just my opinion, You just though. belittle their... Yeah, you just like pretty much say, that, well, it doesn't matter they got the Grammy for this. Cause well, really I'm careful. not saying they're always wrong, but there are times where it's like, okay, what do you do? Okay, I mean, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. But... Uh, they were right on this, though. <laughs> I, I mean, I think so. Okay. I, I don't know what else was happening in 2002. Right, well, I got high expectations. <laughs> Grammys. This is from their third full-length album, Lateralis, which was released in 2001. Yeah, another, like, weird-looking album. Yeah, I like it. I, I, <laughs> I like I'm all not, the colors. I'm not disliking it. I just, their, their albums are just kind of like... I don't different. Know, yeah, yeah just, just like the band themselves. It's different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, they set themselves apart from everybody. Enough background. Let's get into this. Tool Schism. Just the will send to 
Yeah, very, very different. Very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It like, doesn't sound anything like the last song. The time signature is odd. Very. The bass yes. is taken forefront again, though. They do not hide the bass. And, and, we, and we mentioned that a lot on the other videos. On the pod. Other, yeah. yeah. A lot of bands use the bass well, but I like how they're like, look, this is, this is one of the main parts of yeah. our band. Bass is fire. And in this song, <laughs> in this song the main riff is the bass can understand for people who haven't listened to them a lot or listened to songs with odd time signatures, it's very hard to catch a groove. Oh, yeah. With the time signature. I, I, like like I, I just peeked up and looked at all of our heads, and we were all bopping to different uh, rhythms. Well, it's like a... Uh, <laughs> it's like, you can catch like a, ba a bass is doing its own thing and the drums is doing... But they're all on beat, though. Yeah, I remember the thing on Twitter where they had... It's, it said Laurel. Brain, yeah. It says Laurel. Yeah. But you only, your brain's only going to focus on one thing. Yeah. That's kind of what this is. You're only going. Your brain's only going to focus two on one beat. Beats. It just depends on how you are. Is yeah. what you're going to focus on. You're going to bob to whatever you hear. Yeah, yeah. Some people focus. Which on Which is kind of creative, if you ask me. It's like yeah. you can, you, like, it's like your opinion of what you think the beat should be. Yeah, yeah. kind of like it's kind of like some people catch the the downbeat, some people catch the upbeat. To me, this just isn't a band where the first time you listen to them, you're really going to understand what's going on. I'm not trying to say that. You guys don't. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, it's just so different that you're really not used to it yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I absolutely love that bass line. I mean, oh yeah. Bling, bling. I don't even know how you come up with that. <laughs> in in you your just mind, just play with it. I guess I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Comes in. <laughs> You know what? The more I listen to this, it's the more I'm used to this groove. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting used to it because even though I've heard this song plenty of times, it's it's one of those where even though, you know, I've heard, it's like I know what's coming, but it's still kind of hard to catch a groove. But as the song goes on, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it now. I, I told you the definition of schism. Uh, and to me, in my opinion, this is about... Uh, a relationship where the communication has just, it's not even existent anymore. They're just really not fitting together. And uh, they're trying to pick the pieces back up and make it work, which is, uh, it's a real thing. <laughs> you know, yeah. that happens a lot. Yep. Bring the pieces back together, rediscover communication. Enough to know the dangers of our second 
guessing Joker crumbled last week Crowell was drank the hour Communication Just humming. What is that nautical type of sound going on? That it sounds like like a submarine or something. Mm, What is that? I don't even know. What is that? Is that an instrument? I don't really even hear that. What? what? Uh, Okay, let me play it back real quick just for you to listen. That is. Oh, okay. I see what you're, yeah. yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's kind of got that submarine. Yeah. Like, the, so, like to yeah. look at the radars. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, yeah. It's a, it's a nice touch, though. Yeah. All right. So when we did the pot, you guys got on me for saying that sometimes the spacey parts are a little much in their songs. You guys have to realize that I'm talking about a small percentage of their songs I've heard. Uh, I love these parts. I mean, they're just beautiful to me, and this is no exception right here. Uh, I just love how everything slowed down. Just a great transition. Uh, And this part, to me, uh, feels like defeat. Like, the relationship is just at an all-time low right now. That's what this sounds like to me, and that's why I love Tool, is that uh, they can create such emotion Mm -hmm. with their instruments.
back here. They know how to end songs. Oh, yeah, their endings is <laughs> what that, makes that song. Like, yeah. My, my, my thing is, that ending sounded so good. Yeah. yeah. Where was that in the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> I like you know the what endings saying? the best. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was so good. Like, if that was a whole song right there, that would be great. It, it seems like between the two songs, it seems like all their songs, like the whole song gets better about, throughout the whole time. A build up, you think? Yeah. Like, literally, from the moment you press play, it gets better the entire time. It's like giving Derrick Henry the ball in the Titans. If you keep giving that man the ball, he's going to get better. Yeah. Keep no. playing the song, it gets better. Admittedly, I had to hear this song tons of times before I fully appreciated it. I mean, I don't even think this made the playlist for a while. Hmm. Just because it's hard to catch that groove because it's such an odd time signature. that it's like, man, this is just, it's so different that I can't, I can't even really comprehend it. You know what I'm saying? It's just really hard to listen to this and and uh, it, have it be uh, you know exciting and enjoyable. Not to say that it isn't, uh, but just because they have such a unique sound, you know, it's just it's just a landscape that I feel like the more you listen to, the more you appreciate. Uh, and when I hear that odd time signature now, I just appreciate it and I love it. The melodic uh, singing of how he's. You know, I think I read one time or, you know, saw a video or something that Maynard, the singer, said that he doesn't really know how he's going to sing the song until he hears the instruments first. Because he wants the instruments to shine. He wants his voice to be kind of the secondary part of their music. So that's why that's kind of odd, too. But he's going along with it just like he did the pot. So it's uh, it's very interesting. And I, I have learned to love it. Uh, and like I said, I've learned to love this song. That breakdown in the middle, very emotional. Love that part, and the ending is amazing. So that's my final thoughts on the song. Um, I was going to say, sort of what you said. Uh, this, I think the singer should have done a little bit more, because I feel like he's in the back too much on this song. I okay. Th- I think he deserved to be to get his own like I don't know maybe just like one more like. Just the part where he just screams. What do we just yeah. just well. just like a defining <laughs> moment where he just comes out and just you know his his shining moment yeah. in the song. Like there wasn't a part in the song where I was just like that's that was the best part for the singer. This is again this is a song yeah very bass driven. Oh it is yeah I I, I love the bass the Trust drummer me. is fire yes I've already. I've already figured that out real fast. Yes. Because <laughs> he does a lot of like, you know, he uses the whole set. Right. Which I dig that. Right. The bass is fire in this band. I love the bass. Yes. The bass guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the guitar was solid the whole time. I really wasn't getting none from the guitar. But there was one part, I can't remember the part, but it was like, uh, maybe towards the end where it was like kind of just ramping up. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe yeah. so. Something yeah. like that. But right. That was fire. Right. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I like the song, but I like the pop. To, to me, it just sounds like you're still not used to Maynard out of all of them so far. The singing, yeah, yeah. You're I would, still not like used when to I first part, when yeah. you first turned on the pot, I was like confused. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm yeah. not really getting this guy. Right, right. But then, like throughout, the song, like he had his moments though, where in the pot, where I was like, oh, I'm down with this guy now. Exactly. Ha! You know, like he just like right. You know, he he didn't have that moment for me on the song. Correct. I just think this song needed more of the singing. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I like the song though. That's fair enough. But I like, like I said, I like the pop better because it had more of the singer. And there's gonna be a hundred people commenting now. Well, if you the want singer singing, is you sh- good. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you want singing, you should do this song and this song and this song. I'm not saying the singer's trash. He did a good job. No, I do like the I singer's voice. Think, I, yeah, I like his it's voice. It's just. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's just different. Yeah, it you is. You just have to listen to more. Yeah. yeah. No, I think the song, the song, like the way they were built, is very similar. The, the of the two that I've heard, they're very similar, 
But I just think this is more subdued, yeah, for sure. But the singer was better on the pot, so I'll, that's why I say yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I thought in the beginning, you know, I thought the the singer needed to, you know, yeah, do put your chest up, man. I want to hear you. I want to go on. Like I said, I love voices. That is it's something that gets me. Yeah. If you got a good voice, I'm more likely to like the song. Right. But then you told me, you know, they want the, the instruments to shine, so I understand why he did that. Yeah. And let me just say, real in, the, quick. in the bass and drums, definitely. Yeah, the part. And I just wanted to say real quick, I could be wrong on this, but uh, he's such like a, I wouldn't say like a shy guy. I mean, I don't know yeah. him too well, but uh, he even... Kind of like passive? He will even be in the background at concerts. Like, he does not want to be in the front. I think he lets the the guitars and yeah. the basses be in the front. Really? Yeah. Some people like that, though. You know, they would rather hear yeah. the instruments. I, I, I think the guy should sing, though. Let that yeah. thing just hum. We will get into songs where, where he, he belts it out more. Yeah. Trust me. But this is just one of the more subdued songs. I, I think mean, it just is. If he would have added just towards the end, like when he was saying, I know the pieces fit, just give me those, yeah. like, just one more, just, you know, put some yeah. more behind it. Yeah. yeah. I would have been like, okay. That just put the icing on the cake for me. I do, I do love the ending, though, when he says that. It's kind of like uh, how, you, you yeah. know, I don't know if it's one person or both of them are just like, look. We're going to make this work yeah. one way or another. Like, no matter we, what. We know we're meant to be. We just got to yeah. come together and make it work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is a song I myself had to listen to plenty of times before yeah. I really appreciated it all the way through. We will get back to Tool. Just be patient with us. We got to get into these other bands you know, first. But yeah. we, There's other armies, just not as big as yours. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we uh, really appreciate you guys. Yes. I mean, we really do. You guys uh, have been... The best fan base so from far, what we've yeah. seen so yeah, far. Yeah, so far, yeah. So Followed by Vince Sevenfold. They're, yeah. But so, they're, so the far. The full army is like here yeah. on the scale. We're just at the beginning, though, guys. Yeah. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. We love hearing your feedback. What did you think about this song? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it all right? We want to hear your views. And thanks for liking and hitting that subscribe button. Peace, Peace out. out.